Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 4 of Pahamar Plays Forgecraft. Today, Pahamar is going to work on Tinker's Construct. Well, Pahamar, you sound a little different today. I have a cold. Indeed. <laughs> you sound very enthused about this. <laughs> it's an awesome cold. <laughs> All cold it's are. Hot? No. Uh, because that would be a terrible pun. Uh, my dad jokes are lacking. Yes, try harder <laughs> next time. You have like total <laughs> movie man voice. I think you Thank stuck. You. <laughs> and next with the sports. Yep. Zorn, how are the sports? Is team doing well? Which one? Oh, you're no good at this. <laughs> I wasn't hired. I was doing the weather. Oh, learn to role play. <laughs> I'm the weather man. I don't know what I'm doing. Clearly. Fair enough. <laughs> How's the weather on Forgecraft? It's raining! Yeah! Use your stuff to do. How are you doing tonight, guys? Good. I'm doing really good. How are you doing? I am doing good. I got a free gift from uh, Sunstrike here. Oh, yeah? What's that? He left me a chest full of Tinker's Construct stuff because I told him I don't know how to do Tinker's Construct and he gasped. I would too. He left me a chest full of goodies and baby's first Tinker's tool cut. Uh, Tinker's toolkit signs. Some assembly required. <sighs> Keep away from actual children. May cause burns. Oh, that's probably true. It's Goodness. Uh, uh, so yeah, I I don't know what to do. He left me. Let's have a look. He left me a ton of seared bricks. Uh, what looks to be a recipe for making a seared brick. What a Appears to be a basic recipe for the smeltery and a crafting station. Nice. So, so uh, Soren, where do you want the whole setup? To be? Like, where do you want the AE stuff to be? Okay, so let's see. Let's do this. I'm thinking let's... drives either right next to the assembler here, right, or on this far wall. We'll just line them up. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll usually have the drives next to the. Um, like the controller and all the other stuff that kind of goes together. Okay, so let's see. That looks good there. So someone pointed out to some something to me. Like Are we going to run this off of RF? The controller? Yeah. Okay. What is the thermal expansion machine that allows you to just create cobblestone for free? Igneous Extruder. That was it. I yep. knew I forgot that one. You can make smooth stone for free, too. Mm -hmm. uh, for water, but it's free. <laughs> Thank you, Soren, for pointing out the most limited resource in the world that has the most infinite res re ressupply. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's call that let's one call equal. That. Yeah. So, is water, <laughs> how much is water? One AMC or zero? It should be zero EMC, it really should. Uh, I think one millibucket is one one thousandth of an EMC. Okay. So that's one zero. bucket equals one EMC. I think, well, one bucket technically equals more than that because one bucket also has the EMC of the bucket. Right, but one bucket's worth of water. Well, why don't I check? <laughs> Yes, one. I That's how it was fast, I recall. I just checked. Yep. In game. <laughs> faster than you. Congratulations. Oh. You have Thank faster you. buckets than I do. I have any eye. My any eye hasn't loaded yet. I don't, why? Because sometimes my any eye doesn't load, and I don't know why. That makes sense. <laughs> Total sense. Minecraft sense, even. All I know is that like everybody in the world uses NEI and nobody has that problem except you. So I'm gonna say user error. I oh. feel like you just want to pick on me. I feel like who doesn't? <laughs> See guys, this. All right, so down do on the end of this wall. The only problem then, Soren, is well, I guess we can have relays throughout the base for wireless access. Yeah, we can have multiple relay stations. And yeah. the wireless relay that we had in the base before covered the entire base, and it was just one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if this is going to be the center of our base, we should have the wireless relay here. Yeah, it'll be probably just adjacent to the this thing. Like right here? Um, Probably next to the glass here. 
totally going to check them out. Or center. You really do have Soren chests everywhere. Yep. So why are you guys abandoning shop again? You should come see. I mean, probably... means, I'm noticing a diamond block smiley face in your ceiling. <laughs> yeah, I placed that there. Someone I was hoping you were not recording this. episode 43. Well, we share one digit in common. <laughs> Here goes. Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 43 of Direwolf20's server play series. I'm hanging out with Pahamar. How you doing, Pahamar? I'm doing well. How are you? How are you? Good. You want to see our new base? Sure, but I hear I have an epic cold. Yes. yes, you do. I think you caught it from playing on Forgecraft. Probably. Yeah, it's raining. It's a new environment for you. Packs. Yeah, <gasps> you've got pre packs box. Pre packs box, as opposed to normal packs box. Unfortunate. <laughs> the book is right here. <laughs> to the rar age. Yeah. yeah, he named it, not me. Wait. You totally... I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> There's a sign. I'm just gonna hide behind the gravestone here so you can't see my, my Look pocket to your right. Look a bit to your <laughs> right. <laughs> there you go. Greetings, Pahamar. You are unknown to this defense system. You will not be harmed. Well, that's good. However, access to the base is denied. Contact Direwolf20 or Soren for access. Your items are back at the workshop ender chest. Period. Period. Yep. Well, this is, uh, this is awkward. Mm-hmm. Welcome. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why is there a rose on a clay pot off in the distance with the sign? Well, last episode because was 42. And some people on my stream before were saying this looks like a whale, even though it doesn't. So I put a pot of petunias out there. Yes. What's it's an obscure Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference. It's just. A Are we fancy doing another building. Hitchhiker's Guide thing? We're doing many Hitchhiker's Guide things. Always. It's, it's you deserving. killed Mr. Okushama? This was our yeah, troll back. <laughs> yeah, that was the um, troll um, I chose an Okushama thing. And you were standing. Okushama killed himself. <laughs> you were standing in the torture zone. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it was too. Most people welcome mats. This thing has really gotten dark. It has. Well, here's what I did. I, I you I murdered him. Them. There's no, there's no <laughs> explanation. <laughs> no, there was no murder involved. He killed himself. He was trying to escape <laughs> the trap. But because this is an age, he's trapped forever in here that's until like I let him out. That's like saying that the guy from Saw didn't kill anyone. They did it to themselves. <laughs> well, I never saw that you movie. Monster, you monster, you really have turned into a wolf this season. <laughs> well, you know what? Enough people are trolling me, and my base is getting all kinds of weird problems, and I'm like, you know what? I need to defend myself. So This is amusing. <laughs> this is defense. Fair enough. <laughs> but like, man, strip search you're, hey, right upon getting into your age that you invited me to. You are not yeah, getting no. a Christmas card this year. This year. Okay, good. Oh. So you're. Hey, I just wanted you to be prepared for what would happen if you well, come I'm here. Well, I'm glad you didn't like, torture me. No, like Okashaman and Aishan are on the blacklist. Like, there's a white list and there's a blacklist, and there's people like you who aren't on either. <laughs> you're. I'm just on the nudie list. You're just yeah. You're on the. I don't know what to do with you, so I'm just taking your items and telling you to leave. Kindly, <laughs> Okashama and Aichun, they do not have such uh, such such kind uh, options. Treatment? Like, Treatment? yeah, no, pretty much. Uh, do you have some conduits I can use? Uh, Red two Sunday. viewers out there, yeah. don't go visit Direwolf looking for sugar. I've got. That's two. why I'm here. <laughs> Is that <Two>. sufficient? <laughs> it should get me started at least. I think. There should be, like, plenty at our base. Okay. <laughs> Good game. All right. Well, since it looks like I need to get some ore before I can really uh, utilize the smeltery, from what I understand, I'm going to go do some mining for a bit, so I'll be back. You also need some lava, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to grab that on the way. I think I know a spot where I can get some lava. Okay. All right, guys. So I've done a little bit of uh, mining now just to get some uh, basic ores to kind of showcase what we're going to be going through. And uh, with Tinker's Construct. 
and I thought I'd actually bring down the book from my bookshelf here. Oh, I just put it in. Materials in you. Now, I believe when you start a new world, you get this book for free. And most of this is pretty pretty basic. Oh, I guess you can't click on those. Let's see. Uh, stencil table. A lot of this I'll jump back into once I get the smeltery up and running. Ooh, that one's going to be nice and expensive. Seared bricks, iron blocks, and a tool station. Drying rack, orberry bushes, don't need to work with that. Slime, punchy sticks, barricades, nope, okay, groat, and seared brick. So, since Sunstrike was so nice to give us a ton of these seared bricks and whatnot, um, the basic of the book is, is that you mix clay, gravel, and sand together, and that'll give you one groat, and you smelt groat into seared bricks. Four seared bricks turn into, yeah, seared bricks. Just checking the name, make sure I got that right. And then from that, you can build these different things here. So, seared tank, smeltery drain, smeltery controllers, smeltery drain, seared faucets, a casting table, and a casting basin. So, let's see. So, here's the seared bricks, the smeltery controller, how to make this book again, how to get the next books. Okay, so since we got the gist of that, Let's do the next book. All right, materials, tools, and modifiers. Oh, it talks about how to make this stuff. Does it tell us how to set up the smeltery properly? Mm-hmm. But the various things, oh yeah. Auto repair with slime, I hear is nice. Ball of moss, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Flux. Oh, is this about the, um, yeah, thermal expansion stuff about having energy? Let us see. That doesn't appear to be it. Alright, let's go to the next one. Mighty smelting. Here we go. Alright. We need one smeltery controller. Check. Oh, be nice if it stayed. One tank, nine seared bricks, any combination of ten seared bricks, seared tanks or drains, one faucet, one casting table. So let's take the whole lot. Cause there's a lot of it. And do we want to do it in here? No, I don't want to really jump over that all the time. Um, or is that a Tinker's Construct chest? So I should be able to pop that. Let's try this. All right, let's look at the arrangement. Uh, oh, it's a three by three. It's kind of big. Let's do that outside then. Seems to be where most people set their stuff up. Let's do it right here. Okay. So the base looks like it's three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It wants a smeltery controller. What else was it? Looks like a tank. I know I'm just breezing through this. Glue ball. Oh, you can make glue. Let's try this, because I know once it's working, it'll self validate. Let's just check again. Yeah, a seared tank. And... No, that is totally not the right spot for that. Because I believe... So first I know that I need to put lava in here. Oh, I was worried that was going to go everywhere. 
apparently I need a lot more lava. All right, and let's build this up because I know you can make it higher. Let's do it this high for now. All right, and what do we have? Because I think the drains are where the faucets go. With iron, okay, this should work. And uh, because, uh, so let's see, let's try that out. Faucet, yeah, that looks like by the model that's correct. And then let's do this. And, okay. I think that is the basic setup. And, okay, we got lava. Can I put items in this way? It looks like I can. Let's m smelt down some gold. So I know that you can use Tinker's Construct to do basic smelting. Gold blocks, nice. Wait, that's seriously not what I'm getting, right? I'm not getting gold blocks from one, I'm not getting nine gold from one gold, right? That's just ridiculous. Oh, I wish I could look at that right there without like killing myself. It's almost smelted. So I, I understand the idea that um, what's going to happen here is it'll melt this stuff down and it should double my output. But I also know that you can mix different metals together and you can get the special metals that they're talking about. I wonder if you can reverse craft this down. Diary of a Tinker. Tinker's Law. Diary that I just completely flipped through. Can I go back? No, I can't. Okay. So it might be nice for me to craft the other books at some point. Almost done. And is this just going to jump immediately into liquid gold? What's going to happen here? Oh, there we go. Ten ingots. So I think I can do this. And it'll give me a gold block. Oh, that's nice how it finishes up. Then it's hot. It's going to cool down. And I got myself a gold block. Yay! Step one of the banana. Which I'm going to have to get started on at some point. And then, can I do this again? What will it give me here? What's it going to solidify into? Or was that just a big mistake? I know there's one ingot worth in there. I not? Because I know that there's an ingot pattern. May have made a mistake there. Oh, how do I get that out? Can I bucket that out? Can I get liquid gold out? Oh, okay. I think I got a backup plan. I know that's one ingot in there. So if I were to take eight. I don't believe this uses up the lava. Yeah, it did. It totally used up lava. Okay. Well, this is unfortunate, but it needs to be done. Because I'm not losing that gold. We'll just smelt down some gold ingots enough to we get a gold block. Mm -hmm. Alright, well that's smelting. Let's go and put this stuff away, so... I'm going to need more of these chests. Put the seared bricks in here. I'll put the dirt. Oh, I totally messed that up. Let's put that in there. Let's see. Oh, there's still... Oh, cool. It holds the inventory when you break it. Didn't know that. And wood. I'll put the signs away. Yeah, man, I'm getting a good collection of signs. And look at me. Totally OCD in the inventory. Because why not, eh? Man, you guys got to go nuts over that. Alright, let's see. Is it almost done? So this is the value of getting the pattern set up, isn't it? Alright. Sweet. And there's...
there's my eight ingots worth of gold. We'll pour that off. I have to admit, this is pretty cool looking. That's a nice effect. And... Boop! Two gold. Sweet. So I did lose a bit of lava from that operation. However, I did not lose any gold, which is the more important thing. So I'm going to stick that here. And... Uh, I should probably put this book away. So I'm definitely going to need to craft the other books. So why don't I take a few minutes, I'll craft up the other books so I can keep them for reference, and uh, I'll see about getting some of those pattern stuff going on. And I also, you know what, before I do that, I have an igneous extruder to make. Because someone was nice enough, it helps if I spell it, someone was nice enough in the comments for the last YouTube video to point out that I didn't make it, and I wondered why I hadn't used a uh, pneumatic servo. So that looks like I need to make a few more things. So, and I'm going to need that. It's my pneumatic servo. Did I keep myself a spare machine frame? I did not. I know I need to make myself. Oh, that's a. That's unfortunate. I know I need to make myself a piston. And what else is necessary? This is gold with iron. Okay, this should work. And uh, because uh, Sunstrike gave me one, I decided to convert these both. Okay, so let's see. I need my gold. Wait, hold on. I can do this. There might not be much in Equivalent Exchange 3, but there is some important things. So do that. Machine frame. And then I hear you can do... How's it? Should right click? Okay, that appears to not be doing anything, so I'm gonna have to play with that some more. What is this? Tin. I need tin. Tin, tin, tinny, tin. Tin, tin. back here, tin tin, gold gold, and I know here I can do zippity, zippity do, da. Palmer's recipe for making a piston. Zippity zippity do da. Igneous extruder. Now here this guy gives me free cobble and smooth stone, provided a source of water and lava. So why don't I just grab myself some water out of my infinite source there. And apparently it's going to want some more than that. Oh well, that's not important right now. Since I don't have lava, so it's kind of useless at the moment. Okay. So, thank you uh, to persons who reminded me that I missed that. And we are now thermally sound. So, I'll be back in a minute and uh, we will list out the various things we need for Tinker's Construct. All right, everyone. So I've gone ahead and remade the books that I had used. Oh, and there I go, doing that again. Uh, so we have books one, two, three, and the diary. And book number one here, materials new, has all the machines we need to make. So we need to come on over here. We need a stencil table, a part crafter, a pattern chest, a tool station, and a tool forge. So a lot of that look like they need one, two, three, four, five of these blank patterns, which means I will need lots of sticks. Let's do that. Okay. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five of those. I know I'm going to need two of these from that. Let's have a look again. So, plank, log, I'll need to grab a log. I already have a chest, two crafting, oh, and I missed my seared bricks. Can't forget our seared bricks for the tool, and what was the other one? Log, that was right, we're gonna need a log. Okay, so let's come back here. So, we need a stencil.
Sensile table. Oh, was that a sensile table there? Looks like a tool station. Yeah, it was a tool station. Okay. So we got a stencil table. We need a part builder. We need two tool stations. A pattern chest. And we need one of these with our blocks of iron for a tool forge. Sweet. So we'll check that off because we've already done the smeltery, stencil table, part crafter, part and chest, pattern chest, tool station, tool forge. Cool. All right, let's get them laid out. Here, there's a specific way you need to do this. Let's do this. Okay. So I hear that. Does the book tell me? I'd like to know that I'm doing this properly. All right. No, it doesn't appear to tell me the order. Oh wait, here we go. Patterns can be stored and accessed in the pattern chest. All right, let's see. All right, let's do tool forge. That's how you make things. Tool station, pattern chest, part builder, stencil table. So, all right. There we go. So now I just need to see about making stencils. All right, so we're done with this book. We'll put that back in the library. Let's grab the materials in you. And this tells us how to make the different parts, how to make the different things. Does it tell us how to make the different parts? Hmm. That might require just some experimentation. How was it? Oh, knockback uses a piston. Clever. Good job, guys. Beheading uses an ender. Wow. Smite. Extra damage to undead. The flux is interesting. Then you add the additional modifiers. Okay. Let's put that guy away. And. Of course, because it's me. And. Apparently, I have a second one of these. Okay, you can go up there too. Because it's me. I mean, come on, guys. Clean that up. Do, do, do. Can't wait to get this all. I'd say condensed, but I know what you guys are going to do reacting wise. Okay. Uh, I think what I do in there is I put in black, blank patterns. So let's do this. Let's do. Because I know I'm going to need a bunch of these. Let's do this. Oh, totally, that's how you do it. I feel like the ingot one is a very important one to get. Crossbar, tool binding, pan, whiteboard. Oh, for battle signs. Chisel, tough rod. Man. Hammers I hear are pretty good. Arrowheads, make your own arrows. How do you get yourself the ingot? Can you do that in here? No, that's to build parts, store the patterns, access them. Hmm. Did I miss it? Doesn't look like it. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna ask for some help. Okay guys, so it seems like I need to smelt some aluminum in order to get myself what's known as a cast. And then using the casts, I put down whatever I want to cast around and it'll give me what I need. And then I can pour this off and get um, the ingots I want. So we'll let this aluminum smelt down and I hear this stuff smells pretty low, like at a low temperature. Oh wow, cool, aluminum brass, oh. What is the recipe for aluminum brass? Block of aluminum brass, aluminum and copper. Now, ah. I need to grab some copper. Did it say how much it was? Hmm. 
Looks like it's one copper to three aluminum. So, grab some copper. And I think I have some smelted aluminum in here. Aluminum, okay. Put 10 in there, so I'm gonna need two of those, which means I only need four of those. Math. Okay. So we'll jaunty back over here. Put our aluminum in here. We'll put our copper in here. We are getting really low on our lava. Hopefully we get enough to get this done. I'd at least like to get the ingot done. Uh, sorry, the uh, cast done before we wrap up for the day. But I feel like Pahi's going to need to get some more lava. And here comes the moon. We love the moon. Wow, that's a lot of iron. Oh, yeah, it's because of doubles. I'm going to have lots of leftover molten aluminum at the end of this. I think it just stays molten in there forever. Let's have a look at it. It might look pretty cool. There's the molten stuff, and here's the stuff for melting. Copper apparently has a higher melting point than aluminum. I guess that makes sense. Oh, we are low on fuel, guys. Please, 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 please. Keep going. You can do it. Oh, if this isn't the perfect ratio, is this going to be a problem? This episode, Pahamar watches paint dry and ingots melt. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I need some more lava. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I discovered in the workshop that we have an ender tank uh, of lava. So I took some. And we're going to go back and finish that smelting. And I'm going to be careful not to place lava on the lovely computer here. Pahi noob. I should really rename that. Wish I knew how. But I guess it's accurate. I mean, I'm totally a noob right now. Lava. Alright. Ooh. Sweet. Alright. How do we get just the bits we want. Let's try this. Is this? Yes, this looks like the brass. Nice. Okay, we got the ink cast. Sweet. Alright, let's do that and that. Because I just want to empty this guy now. I'll do that. Sweet. I guess we are getting some cool new stuff. Aluminum brass is used for Clocks, weighted pressure points. Oh, so it's kind of like gold. Drawbridge, nice. Knapsack. What's these? Iron tough rod. More drawbridges, igniters. Man, Tinker's construct. Cool. I like the wire. What's the wire used for? Signal bus, spool of wire. What's it used for? I think it's just meant storage. Let's do that. We got a lot in here, don't we? Now we're just molten aluminum after this. Goes in pink. Comes out gray. Shouldn't have done that. Crap. Uh, can I do th this? And yeah, I just totally gave up the fluid that was inside. Oh well. That'll be a lesson to me not to... Uh, let Gary Coleman hit you from behind. Random. So don't I still have enough? I should have enough in to do that. Well, we got some stuff out of this, so uh, I think we can call this a success the first time around. We, uh, we don't have everything we need. Uh, and we did just give up some free aluminum brass to the uh, to the gods of Forgecraft, but we did figure out how to get the smeltery working, which I'm going to call a win. So this is Pothmark going over to the clipboard to sign off for this episode. 
smelt something. One, one, one. Check. Okay. So this is Pahamar signing off for episode four of Pahi Plays. Uh, next episode, I think we're going to get into crafting our very first Tinker's Construct tools. And uh, I've heard a lot about this hammer. I hear it's a pretty uh, quick way to get mining. So we'll give that a go. Until next time, much love. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Just say when you want me to start. Go for it. Uh, hey everybody, so and so here with uh, Pahi Plays episode four. Today we're gonna be doing stuff. You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you told <laughs> me to say. <laughs> I figured as an IT guy, you knew where to put in the blanks. Oh, you want me to? Like... Okay, all right. Hold on, let me try this again. All right, hey everybody. Too. No, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> um, hey everybody, I'm Mar here, and we're doing some building today of a giant golden banana or something like that. <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> you sound really <laughs> weird, Mar. You sound kind of like Barrel. Specifically in this episode, we're looking at Tinker's construct. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You want to try that again? Let me tail off this recording. <laughs>